Hello people and welcome back to another Mother Chatters video. It's me, it's Liam and today we are in Grounded 1.3. Congratulations Grounded. The 1.3 release is finally here and you're watching this as sort of a little, it's kind of a tutorial. I know I said I don't really do tutorials but this is sort of a tutorial because it's like right down my alley with the sort of stuff that I create which isn't bug battle videos. So what you're seeing here is a two player sort of escape room. This is something that I'm going to add and I'm going to get some people to play through it. So ignore the holes for now. They're irrelevant, they're just so I can jump backward and forward because I only have one player, so there should be one in here, one in there. They can interact, but they can't cross over. So you have to do stuff this side to enable them to get forward on that side. They have to do stuff that side to enable them to get forward on this side or go through the door. So if I was on this side, for instance, I look around, I'm like, oh, I'm guessing it's something with these bad boys, these basketball hoops, and it probably is. So I'm like, what can I use to my advantage here? A sturdy door, I can't get out of there. This is where I need to go, I'm guessing. I can't get out, it's locked. So someone on this side potentially might have to do something. I go to this one, the large storage chest is also locked. So someone on this side might have to do something because I don't really have anything here. So now say I'm the guy this side. While matey over there is looking around, he's a bit of an idiot. I'm looking at my surroundings and I see these here and I think, oh, I don't want to touch these. Or do I? Ooh. No, you don't want to do that. Ignore that. You see a massive gong here as well. And you also see this bounce pad. So I think, right, I need to get up there. I don't want the bounce pad. The bounce pad bounces me backwards. I can't get up. Next thing I'll do, I'll hit this gong. Boom, gong's here. Anything changed? No, nothing's changed here, but has something changed this side? I'm back to this guy again. Look at that transition. You didn't you didn't even notice it. What oh, 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 is this open? This is open. And I've got a little basketball. I've got a little basketball here. And now this is where stuff starts to get real. I'm basketball. I'm Kobe. Uh, actually, I'm not him. I'm I'm LeBron James. I'm LeBron James. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to hit these baskets. But I'm looking around and I'm seeing various traps. So I kind of want to hit the right basket. So let's, let's go for... Uh. Okay, we're going to be here a long time, people. Look, we we don't we're not big basketball players in the UK, all right? If this was a football, I'd be I'd be amazing, but it's not. It's a basketball. Boom! Oh, there we go. See, that's the wrong one. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Luckily for this experiment, I haven't got um, player damage on, so this this bit here is irrelevant. So ignore this. This doesn't even matter right now. So now I know that that one's the wrong one. I'm going to start going through these. I've set these up to various different traps just to show you what is what you can do, what, what you're capable of doing. And I will, after this, I will go into the logistics of it and show you how I actually did it for those of you who need a little bit extra help. But to be honest, it's fairly straightforward. If I can manage to do it, you guys can manage to do it. I, I imagine most of you watching this are fairly smart people, obviously. <laughs> actually, actually, I take that back. If you're watching my video, no, no, people who watch Mother Chatter's videos are smart people. Right, so that one spawns in Black Widow Links. Again, I'm going to leave them here just because... Hold on, does this... Can we just see if this damages them? <laughs> no, it doesn't do anything. It probably just annoys them if anything. So that's wrong, that's wrong. Let's try this bad boy. Oh, there we go. I've got that one there. And now I'm looking around. Nothing's gone off. So does that mean that something's changed on this side? Now I'm over here. I'm watching this idiot here failing at basketball. And I'm like, oh, what's changed? What's changed over here? This has. This has now enabled me to bounce really high. And now I can get onto the second level here. So here we go. Bounce, 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 bounce. And now I try to get up here. Boom. It, it chucks me back off. It chucks me back off. So that bounces you off. So you've grasped the concept that throwing it in the correct basket will enable these to be modified so that you can achieve the jump you want to. So now I'm up here. There's a button. I'm thinking maybe I can press the button. So I press the button. Some lights come on over there. Some lights come on. So if I'm the guy over here, let's say, I'm looking at this. I'm like, right, I've got a good concept of what I need to throw this at now. Boom, they've gone off though. They have gone off. So they're set on a timer. So what I've done is I press that set a timer. It lasts for 10 seconds. Once those 10 seconds are up, it will revert it and it will turn it off. And obviously when you do this, you can spawn in creatures to make it more difficult. So you'll press that, the lights will come on, the creatures will be spawned. So the guy over here will be distracted, be like, ah! So he can't remember which one's which. Let's imagine there's like, I don't know, a broodmother in here. So I'm looking at this now. I'm like, right, don't hit any of these ones. I've hit that. That seemed to work. I'll go for this bad boy. Oh, that was close. That was close. Maybe I should have said, I'll be Shaq. I'll be Big Shaq instead. He could probably just reach that. He wouldn't even need to jump or anything. There we go. And that signifies that something else has changed up here. So I go, boom. I go, boom. I'm up here. Oh, what's this? Can I pull a little switch? What happens? You see the door opens down there. 
So matey up here is free, and then matey down here, he's like, oh, thanks for that, mate. Walk out the door, boom, done. And that's just a little puzzle. Like, feel free to steal my idea if you want. This is just to give you some some ideas. I have I have many, many ideas like this, and I will show you the background workings of how we do it. So that is the puzzle, and now let's show you how it was created. Now this, this is where <laughs> it gets a bit messy. So let's start with the very, very basics. You need to get into this chest here. So you put down a chest, you go up to it, you press G and unlock key. If you want a key, you can press a key, but obviously I didn't want a key. I wanted it to be unlocked for a switch. So it's usually like that. So I should be able to get into it. But if you press locked, it is then locked when you go back into play mode. And then you come over to here. You find the man gong. Hello, Mr. Gong. You get this one up, you get a link. You take it over to here, like this link and you place it on that. So say this one is the one I've placed on that. The gong is now linked to the chest. You press G on the link. And what I like to do is just to make sure I toggle the lock so it should be unlocked. And then just to be doubly sure that it will work so I don't look like an absolute fool when people try it out, I put the second behavior to unlock. So it is definitely unlocked. There's no way it's going to be locked. So that's unlocked now. And then these are all pretty similar. So it depends what trap you want to activate with these um, the basketball hoops. So once you've got the basketball, you're throwing it in the hoops. So choose which trap you want. So if you can see, I've got sounds here, like the boo. So if you throw it in the wrong one, they'll boo. Uh, you've got creature spawners. So if you throw it in the wrong one, they'll go to the creature spawners. I've got lasers. Uh, I've also got more creature spawners. I've got these things here, the fireworks. And it, it really depends, like you have like a huge amount of traps that you can use. So it depends which one you want to use and linking them up is pretty simple. All you do is you just click on the basketball hoop, you drag it to the trap you want to use. So let's say, I don't know, the creature spawner, put it there, choose which creature you want. Let's go for, it doesn't really matter, a wasp. And then you get that there and it should really be on it, spawn creatures. So then once you throw a basketball through it, it spawns the creatures in. Now the bounce webs are where it gets a little bit more tricky. So originally when you put the bounce web down, you're gonna get it down. As you can see, this is a minus 45 degree angle and the bounce height is zero. So when I jump on it, it will just do that. Send me back really low. And obviously you want it to change so that you can bounce up. So it originally start out as that. So make sure you put it as this originally, something along these lines where it just throws you off a random direction. Similar to what you did with the traps, you will link up a basketball hoop. Let's just choose a random one. Drag it over to here, to the bounce pad. You link it up and then you press G on it. And normally these are the only ones you have. You have factory defaults, which just sets it to the default one. You have none, which does nothing and customizes obviously the one you want. So you go to options on customize and then this is what the bounce height will change to. So bounce angle of zero, so you go directly up and then about 50 because if you put 100, it'll just plow into the roof and you don't really want that. So about 50, zero, and then when it changes, you'll go up but this only changes once you throw the basketball through the hoop. So if you keep doing it, it'll, it'll just stay the same until you activate play mode and you actually do it for real. So this bounce pad here, the second one is exactly the same as that one. So you just set it up the same way you did the first one. It's pretty darn simple. The only thing that's a little bit different is the button, the button with the timer on it. So I've got a button here. You put all the lights over there. I've changed the colors of the lights. So the two were white are obviously the correct ones. The rest are red, so they're incorrect. So you put the lights down and you individually Go like that and connect all the lights up first. That's what you want to do first. And then if you press G on this just to check, it should just say toggle light. And then what you want to do is link this up to a timer. Now the timer here, don't put start on play because if you have start on play on, what that means is, is when you go back into play mode, it'll immediately start. So you've got 10 seconds, so you don't want that on unless you do want that on, but I would turn it off because then this means that it needs to be activated. So start time delay, you can change that anywhere up to 30 seconds, which means technically you've got 40 second wait there. You've got 30 seconds for it to start and then 10 seconds for it to actually go and run out. So take that down to zero because I only wanted this for 10 seconds or you can have it up to 60, it's entirely up to you. 10 seconds is good enough, it's long enough for me. So I'll set that to 10 seconds. This one here is toggle timer. So the one that goes to the timer is toggle timer. So once you press the button, it toggles the timer as this one says, and then you go into here and the timer starts for 10 seconds. And then once those 10 seconds are up, what you want to do is grab this, get another link and send the link back down to the button which is this one here. And what that does is presses the button again. This is why you have toggle lights and not turn lights on. Once the timer goes off, this one here that I'm pointing the arrow at now will toggle the button to press again. So if you had it turned on, it would just keep turning it on. So what you want is toggle light. And to explain this in basic terms, you press this, the lights go on through these. It also sets a timer for 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds is up, 
This presses the button, which also toggles the lights again to switch back off. So in essence, you just turn the light on and off every 10 seconds. That's all that does. But that's that, that's how that works. That's probably the most complicated part. Like I said, it's fairly basic. You should understand it. If you, if you still don't understand how I'm explaining this, I can do another video explaining it slowly and step by step if you really want to. But the last part is probably the easiest part, and that's the unlocking the door. So literally, all you do is keep this the same. Switches, are, by default, they will just toggle. So if you pull that, you link it all the way down to the door down here and it's similar situations it was with the chest it should be set up to none and to locked so originally you can't go through it, and this should be set up to toggle lock and open you can just toggle the lock you don't have to open it but i thought it'd be cool just to give you a bit of an indication whoever's down here when their second player pulls the lever the door will open for them they're like oh okay i go through the door and that, that's how it works pretty much guys it's, it's fairly simple it i know it looks like an absolute mess right now but it looks a lot better when you go into play mode. Like, you can't see any of this stuff when you go into play mode. It's all fine. So if you want to make some maps, that's this is use this idea if you want. Use this as some sort of inspiration to make your own cool ideas. I can make some more of these videos with some other wacky ideas that I have to make puzzle maps, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to incorporate all of these puzzles into one giant map. I'm going to get people to play through it. Maybe some of my friends, maybe some other grounded YouTubers, maybe some of you guys who are watching this. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, you found this somewhat useful. Again, I'm sorry for talking to you like idiots. I know you're not idiots, but sometimes I have to like dumb it down because something I find easy might be a bit more complicated to someone else. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye, goodbye. Check out some other videos and I'll see you soon.